Welcome to Freak Out Drive-In. My name is Jennifer Smith. I am your hostess, and I am here tonight with uh, a new guest, uh, a new friend I've never met before. Uh, Kevin, how are you tonight? Good, and yourself? I'm great. Uh, thank you for joining us for Freak Out Drive-In. And um, we are here with a movie that you have selected. Which one did you pick? I went with The Babysitter. Never seen it before, but... Uh... I watched the trailer. I'm like, uh, I thought it would be a good pick. It seemed like there was a lot going on, a lot to talk about. Maybe some nudity. Fingers crossed. Ooh. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I've seen this one a couple times. I think uh, there's some fun stuff in it. Uh, nice. It's a Netflix nice. movie, so we're watching this on Netflix. If anybody wants to join us. I was I meant to look this one up because it's a fairly newer um movie feel like it kind of instantly got added to well actually it's not as new as i thought it's from 2017 yeah i actually read i, I tried to look at some trivia to kind of keep the conversation going and all i found was it was completed in 2015 but wasn't released until 2017 and then I, it also said one of the actors in the script had dreadlocks but now he does it in the movie, so whatever. <laughs> so that's all I could find on it. We, uh, I don't. I guess I thought it was a little bit newer than 2017. So, because um, I, I know I've seen it a couple times, but um, I, I don't. I guess all the years got away from me during COVID. <laughs> I oh, can't keep track of time anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what is time anyway, really? I kind of stopped paying attention around the 90s, so it's still like 95. Right. Yes, agreed. Agreed. 100%. Oh, boy. Okay. This looks like some setup. That's a, that's a cool dad right there. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So you're uh, you're in Rhode Island, is that right? Or yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Where are you all located? I'm in Florida. Uh, not on any of the parts that got decimated recently, but um, I'm in the Panhandle near Pensacola. Yeah, luckily that seems uh, like it came and went, and not too much. Uh, yeah, we got really lucky. So yeah. far this season. Yeah, uh, I can't do Florida. My wife wants to move down there, but I'm afraid of alligators, snakes, hurricanes, <laughs> Look. Uh, Ron, De Ron DeSantis, everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I am also uh, afraid of snakes, and it's 100% a problem. Um, I... There was one in my house recently. Um, oh, geez. Oh, yeah. That was not great. Because what happens is, and it's happened twice at least, um, like packages get left out on the patio or on the stoop out front. And if they sit there for a little bit, a snake's going to crawl into them. So they got brought in the house. My mom was here and she saw it under the couch and she freaked out. Yeah, I can't <laughs> handle to, that shit. <laughs> yeah, I have a dog and two cats. They were they were pretty useless against the snake. But it was a tiny little thing and not poisonous, luckily. But yes, but, uh, yeah. snakes have been out on, on my patio. I'm out there, you know, and see them. It's terrifying. I hate it very much. Yeah, I so saw one, uh, one of the hurricane things. Uh, someone's house was flooded and there was just like an alligator in the house and yes, didn't even save them. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking crazy. That's they weren't crazy. even phased by it. <laughs> like, and I've seen footage of the uh, the Florida Everglades yes. and like uh, just the size of the snakes there. I don't want to coexist with any of that. So, but no, God bless also you. Also, same. <laughs> no, no. It's it, luckily, you know, the South Florida thing. I don't have to deal with that. But we got we we got gators up here. I haven't seen one. Um, not since I've lived in Florida. Surprisingly, bears are a problem in my town. Oh, really? Yeah, we have yeah. one uh, a few months back in Rhode Island that was like lurking around people's yards, but he left. Now we have a bobcat situation around mm -hmm. the area, so 
And it's funny because I'll put my dog out and I'll, you know, it'll be three 30 in the morning and I'll, everything's fine. I'm like, Oh shit. There's like a bobcat somewhere around here. And he's finding like oh, the shit. perfect blade of blade of grass to shit on. <laughs> and I'm like, let's, let's speed this up a little bit. Like, <laughs> Don't need a bobcat attack. Yeah. Here. Actually, hold on. Let me show you the, uh, this is, uh, this is the dog in question in his little pajamas. Oh, hello, baby. Oh, Say hey, OB. There we go. Hi, baby. All right. You can go back to bed now. <laughs> right. Look, that was weird, Dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's giving me the dirtiest look because he was sleeping. <laughs> he shook his tail at you. <laughs> yeah. God bless him. All right, buddy. Go lay down. I'm assuming this is the babysitter in the car now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You could tell he has a giant crush on her. Oh yeah. And she's gorgeous, so why not? Yeah, he definitely appears to be very horny right now. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> twelve year old boys. Do you have any kids? Uh yep. Two. A twenty two year old and an eleven year old. Oh, okay. That's a fun spectrum. Oh yeah. Good times. Yeah, the deep, uh, in it, deep in the teenage years with my fifteen-year-old boy. Oh, God bless you. Yep. It's a, it's a, that's yep. a fun time. <laughs> it's killing me, man. It's cool because, like, Trust. at that age, they know everything. So. Uh huh. They sure do. They <laughs> sure do. Mm mm. That's so. I mean, you you kind of know what to expect, I guess. Um, oh yeah. Already going through the teenage stuff. I was lucky though, because I was I was a bit of an asshole when I was younger, and uh, I think I lucked out. My son's an angel, so. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> that man was having fun with the water hose over there. <laughs> Got a creepy basement. No, is that crawl space maybe? Any spiders in Florida? <laughs> uh yeah, I mean I, spiders I'm actually cool with. I'm not like we uh, we definitely have them and but they're not wild. It's not. I mean, we have black widows and stuff, but they're they don't attack. You know, they just run away. So it's fine. Yeah. I recognize this lady from somewhere. I can't place it though. Yeah. Um. She she's looks... been in a bunch of things. I should have done more research. Oh no, that's that's the <laughs> point of the live watch. You get to learn together. Yeah, I don't see her on the cast though. Oh yeah, that's Leslie Bibb. Oh, Leslie yeah. Bibb, yeah. No, oh, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> you know, she's forty nine years old. That's really? Wild. Mm. And uh, the main character on this is, um, I think it's Hugo Weaving's daughter. I'm not sure who that is either. Um, and I saw oh, her, Bella, yeah. Bella Hugo Thorne. Weaving, um, that's her uncle, is Hugo Weaving. That's, um, um, what's his face from Lord of the Rings, the head elf guy. And also he was oh. V for Vendetta. All right. Yeah. Yeah, because I uh, when I looked at the cast, I saw Bella Thorne was in it, and I've heard the name. Yeah, I'm like, I'll, I should know who this yeah. is. <laughs> no clue. I'm so out of the loop on so, a lot of this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I like Bella Thorne. I know her from when my kid was little, and he he slash I would watch Disney Channel. She had a show on Disney Channel, so that's why I know her from, like a little tween show. All right. Speaking of Disney, I heard they got flooded. With all this nonsense. Oh, did they? I did not have the heart to watch any aftermath videos today. 
Um, I was up late last night watching watching everything happen, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a break <laughs> from watching it today. So I didn't keep up with anything. But they probably opened the park already. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't, uh, are you a Disney adult or? No, those, absolutely uh, not. Oh. No. oh, really? Nope. Nope. We we did we did Disney like when my kid was little, and yeah, you know, I've offered to go back. He has no interest. Yeah, you know, just so I I would do Epcot because you can go and just drink all day. So that's my vibe. Mm-hmm. And to me, I would do that. And also, I would do the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's my. But I like re- Universal a lot. Yeah, I've only done Universal twice. Uh, yeah, twice. The one in California and the one in Florida. But I remember the first first time I went to Disney, I'm like, we'll go this one time. I, I don't want to get suckered in with those people that go every year. I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm all set. Then we went the one time we fell in love with it. I'm like, oh, I want to fucking want to go back right now. Like, So we, <laughs> yeah, we went back a second time. And I'm fighting every urge not to go again. So I want to give it some space, maybe do something else for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And you're a wrestling fan, right? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. That's uh, actually, I'm I'm here because of wrestling in a weird roundabout way. Hulk Hulk Hogan yes. brought us together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, sadly, that is true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I met JT waiting in line to meet Hogan, meet and Hulk. he recognized. <laughs> yeah, he recognized me and my friends from our old backyard wrestling show. We did on public mm-hmm. access, and then like uh, we were in that line for like four hours, so we got to chatting a lot. <laughs> so we exchanged information. Here we are. <laughs> Thank so you. So you, <laughs> uh, you, how old were you when you were doing the backyard wrestling stuff? Is that like I think teenage I, years? Yeah, I started from yeah, like when maybe when I was like seventeen or eighteen, and then like we stopped sometime in the nineties, I believe. And then I brought it back in the 2000s, and then we went out like another five years. But we actually had like an indoor ring. We were renting out wrestling schools and whatnot. Oh so then, wow! Uh, yeah, yeah. So we then we uh, stopped after that. And what finally, was this called? Uh, USWF, uh, USWF, United States Wrestling Federation. The name was already <laughs> in place when I joined. Somebody else started it, so I would have probably come up with something something else. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was USWF. So. And but, who uh, are you? Uh, Primetime Kevin E. That was my name. Primetime Kevin E. Yeah. What, what was your finisher? Uh, it was an inverted DDT. Nice. That, yeah. Like so, it. Uh, yeah. It was a good you time. heel or baby face? Oh, I fluctuated back and forth. So yeah. Okay. Throughout the years. Switch like that. Yeah. 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 We had a. Uh, we had some uh, good times back <laughs> in that yard. I bet. I bet. Yeah. Thumbtacks, uh, chairs, oh, tables. Hardcore set some on fire. Oh, yeah. Set someone on fire once. Good times. <laughs> Jumping off houses and shit. Uh, I never did. Ladder? Yeah, I never jumped off the shed. Other people did that. But uh, mm-hmm. the ladders, yeah, I did, did the ladders and uh, all that stuff. But uh, I don't regret any of it. But, uh, That's awesome. I feel it in my knees now, my back, and I bet I was just about to ask, <laughs> yeah. like holding up. <laughs> yeah. Every now and again, I think about. I'm like, I, I can do one more match, one more match, and then like I'll wake up the next morning. I'm like, oh fuck that. <laughs> like, can't do it. <laughs> when was the last time you guys did that? Oh boy, I want to say maybe, maybe 2015. Maybe was the last one. Oh, but okay. I'm not. I'm the. I'm the worst with dates, though. It was sometime yeah, in that ballpark, G- give or take ten years. I don't. I'm the worst at <laughs> dates and all that shit. Give or take ten. Uh, that's awesome. Um, did y'all have a pretty big following on public? Yeah. Access? Oh yeah. Yeah. It was uh in the early days when we were wrestling out of uh our backyard in Coventry, Rhode Island. That's probably when we were at our, at our biggest and. We'd mm-hmm. go to like WWF shows and people would see us and like ask for our autographs and stuff. I could be like, Oh, a, sweet. Yeah. Like I'd be out and about and like, uh, 
I was at a flea market once. Uh, two kids were waiting. They were a uh, piece of like scrap of paper, and, like a pen, like so. Like, that doesn't happen. It yeah, actually, uh, that happens still every now and again. And my daughter will like ask my wife. She's like, "Who is that?" And he's like, "Oh, that's one of Dad's fans. He used to wrestle on public access." But, like I love those, that. those are few. Yeah, those are few and far between though. But every time we go to the well, carnival, uh, there's like this one carny that works there. So I'll be walking by. He's like, Kevin E. I'm like looking around. And then like, <laughs> it's happened twice now with the same carny. I'm like, always like, I'm freaked out every time. So, That's awesome. Yeah. I know uh, JT uh, marked out big time when he realized who was behind him and why does the whole go in? Uh, uh, I, I got a message uh, to the group chat. Yeah. Oh, I, I got distracted with the bikini just now on the on the movie. Oh, yeah. That was a good yeah. shot. Yeah. I thought, I thought we could get some nudity, but. Um, yeah, like well, uh, she is babysitting a child, so probably not yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and for a while, too, like the, our local radio station, 94 HJY, uh, their host, uh, Jeff Charles, saw the show, and then he would have us on every Friday to promote the upcoming show on Saturday. Cool. So we were like on, awesome. yeah, around, yeah, so it, it did get pretty big for a little while, like, uh, so. What's your worst injury? Um, I I think I had my head squat. Uh, we had a wrestle the Puma. He was a big fellow. He threw me outside the ring, and then he dove on the outside, but like landed on my head, and so I had a big bruise. It looked like a black and blue uh, sideburn, and then it scabbed <laughs> over. So I, I had that going on for like a few weeks, and then another wow. time uh, when I was wrestling Arnold the Ace Capelli. I powerbombed him through a flaming table, and he was supposed to roll off, and I pinned him. But he stayed on there a little bit too long, so his back caught on fire. So as I'm, oh, I'm putting him, yeah, so I'm putting him out, and now my hands caught on fire, and I had huge oh. blisters on the palms of my hands. And so we had to go to the uh, ER, and so I'm like, I can't tell them. I set someone on fire. Like, so I forgot what I said. I made some shit up, like, oh, something caught on fire in the backyard, and I had to pat yeah, yeah. it out or something. Yeah. I'm, yeah, the I'm easy like, oh, one to lie yeah. about at least. But. Yeah. Oh, I just had another human on fire, and I put it. So <laughs> well, that was probably the worst. That one hurt. Table on fire. Yeah, that's insane. That is crazy. This movie starts out very like innocently. Like a lot of it seems pretty coming of age story and kind of cutesy. I've actually so you're really uh, waiting, waiting for that turn. I've been in the market for one of those uh, outdoor projectors. Those are cool, right? Yeah, I haven't pulled the trigger on it, but I went to a I was at a party over the summer. Someone had one. We watched Garfield out there. The, oh, nice. Yeah. Those are kind of still more expensive than you would think they would be. Yeah, I've never priced one up. Uh, again, my memory. I'll, uh, I'm gonna get, I gotta get one of those, and I'll forget about it. Yeah. We I like that couch Amazon with Prime the. Uh, Day. Yeah. It's funny. I don't mess around too much with Amazon. The uh, the young no? kids I work with. Yeah, they were. I just got my balls busted the other day. I was, oh, oh, last two years for Halloween at work, I wanted to go as my coworker Frank, but I need a bald cap. And I'm like, I haven't been able to find one at Spirit Halloween or anywhere. And then like the girls like, yeah, did you check on Amazon? I'm like, oh shit, I forget that's a thing you could do now. Yeah, I'm still like you a brick and mortar guy. Amazon yeah, exists? yeah, I'm not like out. Yeah, I'm still like living in the '80s. I like I like to go out and actually. Literally anything you could ever want, you can order and have for in like a day. Like, it's amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, my wife's all about Amazon. So I'll come home and there'll be like just packages every yeah. uh, other day. And I, I, I get, I get anxiety. I can't do it. <laughs> anxiety then, about like, the packages? Well, yeah, because then like, uh, there's like a lot of returning going on if you don't like something. I'm like, if you're in the store, you can physically touch it and like, there's no need to mail stuff back. I'm like, I don't know. But maybe I will pull the trigger on yeah, that ball cap. 
99% of the time, I'm not sending anything back. I just own that forever mm. now. You know? Yeah, that would be me. I'm terrible at returning things. But then, look, I'll probably need it in like 10 years. Yeah, there you go. So it'll, it'll just hang around. I've actually been trying to declutter. I'm afraid of, uh, I'm like, oh, when I, uh, when I eventually go, when it's my time to uh, leave this earth, someone's got to clean this shit. Like, I'm a bit of a hoarder. Not, not a hoarder. That, uh, a, a collector. Like, That's so been, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been slowly getting rid of, like, books I'll never read. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. So I've been putting them in, like, the little libraries and stuff. So I'm, I'm slowly getting rid of stuff. So. Well, hopefully you got some time. You know, you're not oh, like, yeah. I don't know that's the door or yeah. anything. But yeah, I'm the same. Like and my thing is like clothes. I, I like have emotional attachments to like random t shirts. So it's like, oh, I did this one thing in this one t shirt one time, so I must own it forever and I'll never wear it again. A lot of them are wrestling shirts. Yeah. Um and I started putting those in a box, like Okay, you're not going to get rid of them. You're not going to donate them, but they don't need to be taking up space in your closet. Put it in a box somewhere. So that's my current goal is to get all that shit weeded out. Yeah, I, I got a weird thing with t-shirts. I'll buy a new shirt and I won't wear it right away. I'll have to wait for the perfect moment to debut it. So like <laughs> if I have like a cookout or yeah, yeah, like a cookout <laughs> or something or a party and like uh but then like sometimes like when the day comes, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm not really feeling this shirt right now. So then like I just have shirts with tags on them waiting to be debuted. So that's amazing. Cause I do the same yeah. thing with outfits. Just like right. outfits that I think look, would look amazing or look cool or like it's a specific vibe, but I've not had the opportunity to wear it yet. You know, yeah. like it's just waiting for its chance. Which is yeah, dumb. I, I, I mean, it's real dumb to do that. Like, just wear the clothes. Just wear them, you know? Yeah. What, what I've also got some for? shirts that I, uh, I'm too chubby for right now. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I got to re I gotta revisit this one, uh, right. like, negative five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's a goal shirt. You got to have those. I saw this it's band. Motivation. Uh, this I saw this band, Att Attraction to Tragedy. And I, I'm like, oh, I want to buy one of their shirts. They only had mediums left. I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, I'm not going to squeeze into a medium. I'm like, you know what? Maybe one day. So I bought that shirt. It's been like, God, a decade now. I'm never going to fit in. I'm never going to wear it. Then, like, I asked my daughter if she wanted. I'm like, oh, you want this? No, she wanted no part of it. So I, it's still oh, no. a brand new medium shirt. One day I can maybe squeeze into, but probably not. So Amazing. I love it. Well, you supported the band. That's fine. Yeah, that's all that matters. That's, that's the way I think <laughs> of it, you know. They can get rid of it when I die. <laughs> <laughs> Dad never wore this shirt in his yeah. whole life. <laughs> he was always too fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little hang in her closet for the next few yeah. years. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. It looks like they got a game of spin the bottle going on. Oh boy. Did you ever have a babysitter, like a hot teenage babysitter? No. Uh no. No, uh I'm from a strict Portuguese family, so they would oh. never leave us home alone. <laughs> oh no. Not never yeah. with a hot babysitter. No, no. Yeah, I think only grandparents would watch us. Yeah. There's Bella Thorne. She looks amazing. I really like the um, sort of cliche parts of this movie. You know, a uh, hot teenage babysitter with a kid who has a crush on her. I feel like that's pretty tropey. Um, then kid goes to bed, babysitter has friends over, and they play spin the bottle. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like every movie that has a babysitter, friends are coming over. <laughs> it's exactly. almost like a or, law. Or friends, some, something, yes. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how accurate that is. Like, same with you. Like, we never had families were always our babysitters. So it was like, we never had this scenario. Yeah. 
Where does it come yeah, from? I, yeah, okay, because I would also never have a, a random, okay, hold on, we got some uh, girls kissing. Oh, yes. It was a girl kiss, but it was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, oh boy. Should I close my eyes for this part? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, no. I hope my wife doesn't come out of this part. <laughs> <laughs> they always come in when it's shit like this, right? Woo. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, they're definitely got tongue on tongue action going on. If anyone's following along with the movie, you'll. <laughs> oh, my God. This is girls playing it up when they know that the boys are creaming their pants. Playing, I want God bless America. Yep. Probably the greatest scene in all of cinema history. Let's give it up for these young ladies. <laughs> Bella Thorne brings it again. <laughs> He's got the chapstick going. <laughs> That, that, that guy said, give me a minute to process that shit. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, now she's on to make it out with him. Nope. Just licked his face. What kind of spin the bottle is this when you have to kiss everybody in this circle? Yeah. Did they change the rules? I think so. Have you ever played Spin the Bottle? No. 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 <laughs> uh, the closest that we came to that uh, was uh, Truth or Dare, when you just pick yeah. Dare, because it's always like, I dare you to kiss somebody. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. I don't think I ever played Spin the Bottle either. Maybe one time. Okay, I saw this part in the trailer. I don't think... Uh... Oh, boy. How's this nerd hanging out with them anyway? I know, right? All right, hold on. What? It's getting weird. Oh, she's going to go to town on him. Oh, here it is. Oh. Yeah, that's the part I saw in the trailer. Here we go. <laughs> Double knife to the head. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Holy shit. Business just picked up around here. Wow. What a oh, great geez. kill. Mm. Holy shit. I love he's having a full-on conversation with two knives in his head. Knives in his head, yeah, that doesn't <laughs> seem accurate at all. <laughs> So it looks like some sort of ritual we're doing here. Yeah. Some sort of cult. Oh. Oh, geez. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, oh damn. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that shit's still warm. I think he's got a fever. <laughs> This guy's too funny to be in this weird <laughs> satanic cult. Now, why did they have to do this at this boy's house? That's yeah, what I'm that's confused. A great yeah. Y'all yeah. couldn't do this on a night where, you know, y'all could be somewhere else. Yeah. Like in the woods or something. Uh -uh. You look like Carrie, but black. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, my Jesus. Now, do you do the, uh, is this podcast only for October? Or do you do this like year round? The, uh, so initially when I started it um, many years ago, it was, I did it every, pretty much every month for a while. Um, and then I kind of got to where I couldn't get guests. You know, everybody kind of did it a bunch of times. All the people that I know and then mm -hmm. that are my friends and want to be on here. Um, so it was just a matter of it was getting hard to find guests every month. Um, so, and I had, a, I do a lot of podcasts. So um, I kind of was like, well, I'm going to cut back. I'm going to scale back on Freak Out Drive-In um, and condense it down to just during Halloween season. And then I did a couple specials like during Christmas season because there are some cool Christmas themed Halloween or um, scary movies. So now it's pretty much down to just maybe six a year. Um, nice. I was thinking about bringing it back, but I'm unsure. Um, just again, because I do a lot of podcasts and time reasons, but I love it. It's so fun and there's no prep for it, which makes it so much easier for me. Um, cause everything else I do, I have to watch stuff for it and take yeah. notes in this, this, I get to live watch and it's just so much easier. Now, uh, speaking of Christmas horror movies, have you seen uh, It's a Wonderful Life? I have not. That's yeah, it's pretty good. I saw that one on Shutter, I believe. So yeah, just like It's a Wonderful Life, but like horror yeah. version. Yeah, so that, I that was love It's cool. a Wonderful Life. So yeah, yeah yes, it's I'm kind of like a horror that. comedy as well. So I love that. Got, yeah, we yeah. do we do a lot of that on here. Um, what is your horror fandom? What is your history with? Horror movies. Um, I started out like yeah, so I was you know kid in the eighties, and of course like mm -hmm. that was like Freddy and Jason mm -hmm. and the slasher, so like that got me into mm -hmm. it. Me uh, so uh, it was yeah one of those deals where uh, you know whatever was on cable at the moment mm -hmm. we'd watch, and I was almost more always more of a Freddy guy only because. Jason, I would watch, and he would scare the shit out of me. And Freddy wasn't as <laughs> scary, so uh, scary. Hey, Freddy's funny. He's like, yeah, real funny. yeah, 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 yeah. Jason, Jason scared the shit out of me. But like, you know, as I got older, I got more into it. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, that, that was the that was the uh, gateway there, and uh, and of course, I like uh, what are they drugging this boy now? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, then I got me into Michael Myers, and like then we, uh, we, uh, me and my brothers, we would rent the uh, low budget movies like Sleepaway Camp, and then oh, uh, we'd yes. watch, uh, we'd stay up on the movie channel and watch Joe Bob's Drive-In Theater. Ah, uh, so, Joe Bob, I love yeah. Joe Bob. He's yeah. the best. Yeah, absolutely. Same. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so I, you know, we got exposed to a lot of like the low budget stuff on his show, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that introduced me to Tom Savini. He had him on once. Yes. I thought, yeah, I've been obsessed with Tom Savini. I met him at uh, Spooky World back cool. in the 90s. Yeah, I had him. Uh, I didn't have anything from the sign, so I just had to pull out a dollar bill and Tom Savini signed it. And uh, Linnea Quigley was there as well. So she signed that too, but I, I lost it throughout moves and oh, floods. No. And oh, yeah, no. so that's, that's somewhere in the abyss now. But uh, yeah. That's I, awesome. I, and I toyed with going to Savini's school for a little while, his makeup school in California. But as with everything in life, I never pulled the trigger on it. So I got you. Yeah. This poor kid. He's fucked up. What's your favorite horror movie? Oh, boy. Uh... If I had, if I was going to be on a deserted island and I could only take one, probably, man, probably the first Halloween, I would, I would, yeah. That's a good answer. Yeah. I'd probably Classic. take that one. Yeah. 
I have recently been obsessed with the Terrifier films. Yes. I like, nice. I like them gross and bloody and absolutely disturbing in every way. So that's coming out this Friday. And I already got my ticket. Terrifier. So did I. 1230 yep. tomorrow. I'll be there. Yep. It's happening. <laughs> Can't that's wait. Funny. Yeah, I heard people have been puking not... in the theater. <laughs> I heard that as well. I, yeah. I the last the last one I watched, I was by myself in the theater. Um, high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that before because that movie is so fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to sit in a theater and watch it by yourself is it was insane, but I loved it. Yeah, especially that bedroom scene. That one sticks with oh you for a uh... <laughs> Oh my god! Yes, I wanted I wanted to watch the first two, but I ran out of time this week. So, yeah. shit, I might do that after this. Okay. Now they have the kid tied up. I thought they drugged him. Oh shit. Hmm. Oh, he's a uh, diabetic, Is it diabetic? appears. Yeah. Oh. I had forgotten that. She's like so, trying to take care of him, but also is a psychopath. Yeah. So yeah, they obviously want him alive for something. Yeah. Yeah. That is um, Stephen Amell's cousin, I think. Robbie? Is that is that the guy from uh, Arrow? Is that the... Yeah. The mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, back to Terrifier. I, I was going to... I was trying to meet Art the Clown in, uh, I forget what convention it was. It was in Connecticut. And, uh, but you could do the, the personal photo shoot with him in full costume. Oh, so, like, nice. They, yeah. They only had X amount of tickets left in left course. Like, uh, I got, I didn't make the cut. So, uh, oh, I'm, no. still, I'm still bummed about that one. Oh, my God. I would lose my mind. I just went to yeah. Spirit Halloween yesterday, and they had they had one, and I was just like, "Oh, really?" Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we we were in Salem, Mass last week, and uh, there was somebody oh, dressed cool. up like Art, so I got to take cool. a picture with a fake Art, but uh, not the same. <laughs> Salem, that is so cool that you're so near Salem. Yeah, yeah, it's a good time, but yeah, uh, we gotta go off. Uh, we like to go in the summertime as well to like kind of do the other stuff like because if you try to get into the museums this time of year you're just gonna be in line yeah, forever wrapped so. up. yeah i can see that this little kid gives me um what's his face from terminator 2 vibes yes um, uh edward furlong edward furlong right? that, yeah he gives me eddie furlong vibes yeah, I definitely see it. He's like roasting everybody. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. She said it, they needed blood for a science project. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Cole called the cops. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, some fucked up shit's gonna happen. 
Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> Poker through the eyeball. That's a fantastic shot. Oh. 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 <laughs> Kitty gone. <laughs> Kitty gone. <laughs> oh, it's a oh, geez. fucking shot. Oh, I got I got a couple jokes I want to make here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let them go. Oh shit. Oh and the nice. throat slit. They're going for it with the blood already. This is awesome. They really do let oh, people go on and on um with these head injuries that they should yeah. definitely not be speaking. Oh my god. Uh. That was awesome. That was insane. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's worried about AIDS. That's <laughs> How do you feel about Stephen King? Um, I've only read one book my entire life. Uh, I think it was Cycle of the Werewolf. Which I think they made into a movie, but they called it something else. Silver Bullet or something. Silver Bullet, yeah. Yeah. And then uh yeah, but I've no. seen it and all that. I have seen the movies and whatnot. But as far as reading his books, I've never really uh got too deep into it. Do you like the movies? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so uh the last two its were pretty good. Yeah, they fan. were great. Yeah, me too. Have you ever seen the original It miniseries? Oh, yeah. 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 I, I got to say, I, I, like the, I like the movies better. If I had to yeah, choose. Yeah, I mean, I have a real soft spot for the, for the, for the miniseries because I just kind of grew up with it. The book is tedious as fuck. Like, it's real hard. Like, it's one of those rare instances where the uh, movie ad- adaptations are better than the book for King. Yeah. A lot plus of time they uh, struggle with his movies. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Plus, uh, plus when the uh, when the miniseries came out on TV, like uh, I was in a, a weird era where I didn't like made-for-TV movies. I didn't like anything from Britain. <laughs> like uh, I, I thought everything like from like anything British looked weird to me. Like and I didn't ever like like Benny Hill or Mo- Monty Python. Python. Like I, I don't know. Uh, I don't have like. Just weird quirks about all this stuff, but I, I've warmed up on major. T- yeah, yeah, like the British Office. Everyone's like, "Oh, you gotta watch the British Office. It's, oh, it's no. uh, so much that. better than the American." Oh yeah, I watched. I want to say like three minutes of it. I'm like, I had to turn it off. I'm like, yeah, no. There's some British stuff I really love, like extras. Um, Ricky Gervais is fantastic in that show, and all the celebrity cameos are amazing. And then, like, Downton Abbey and shit like that. Yeah, see, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> Way too... Br- uh, you know what? I, I, here I am talking shit about, like, Great Britain, but I, I, I'm i a big... Not a big Doctor Who fan, but I, I've watched a few seasons Ooh. of Doctor Who, so... who Who's your favorite Doctor? The... For, like, the... the, the for the... When they restarted Anyone. it. All yeah, of it. Uh, okay, you can second, talk about that, the, yeah. Yeah, the second one. I forget... I can't... David Tennant? Yes, yes. Yeah, I, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't think yeah. of his Doctor name. Ten, yes. Yeah. And, uh, Doctor. I liked his work on, uh, what was the Marvel show he was on? Uh, the Netflix one. Uh, Jessica Jones. Yeah, yeah, he was good in that. Yeah, he was amazing so. in that. Yes, I love him. David Tennant's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I got... Oh, no! Oh! Oh, oh. oh sick! Good kills in this movie. I'm uh plus yeah, I'm not gonna lie. yeah, I like it. Oh, oh, that was sick. Oh, yeah. Uh, I watched up until the doctor after David Tennant, and then Matt Netflix Smith. got yeah, then Netflix got rid of Doctor Who. So I kind of like yes. just stopped. So I, I yeah. and I never went back and resumed it because uh, but uh, I'm gonna I can recommend up. the Matt Smith stuff. Like Matt Smith's a great doctor. Um, 
he has my favorite episode, which is his first episode as the doctor. Um, and then, uh, what's his face? Uh, the older Scottish guy was the last one that I watched. Um, so that that's my sweet spot from like nine to to like twelve of the doctors. And I know a, uh, they had a girl be the doctor. And I know yeah, I she was the one where I kind of not because of her, it just kind yeah. of I fell out. I, things got weird. The writing got weird on that show. Um, the showrunner when David Tennant was on is probably the best. That they've yeah, because yeah, I did hear that the showrunner with the the one the woman was on it was a whole different yeah. creative yeah. scene. Mm-hmm. And it's funny, like whenever I, I meet someone with a British accent, I'll always ask, like, "Oh my god, is it true? All you guys love Doctor Who?" And every when I say every, I want to say like I maybe asked this like three times. And none of, none of them like Doctor Who. Like, so I just yeah, assumed they I were mean, all like fucking watching it down there. <laughs> it, it's weird. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what the um, locals think about Doctor Who. I, it's probably corny to them. I feel like you have to yeah. be like a, a certain person to be a Doctor Who fan. It's like I assume every Canadian loves Bret Hart, but uh, <laughs> I don't think they don't. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, I remember we, uh, a bunch of us went to Canada one time, and instead of going down there for the weekend, we went in the beginning of the week so we could watch uh, Monday Night Raw on Sky Sports. You know, whenever, like, JR would be like, oh, for, you know, people in America watching us on USA Network and our Canadian viewers watching on Sky Sports, I'm like, that'd be so awesome watching Raw on Sky Sports. So, <laughs> so we did that, and it's, uh, we ended up going to, uh, a lot of strip clubs in Montreal and all the dancers. <laughs> heard that's very fun. Yeah. Then like one, of, we had a dancer ask us, she's like, Oh, you guys staying for the weekend? You know, we do after hours party on the weekend. Uh, you know, uh, we do drugs, blah, blah, blah. All this other stuff happens. Oh, and I'm like, I'm like, no, actually we're leaving. Cause we came earlier on in the week. So we could watch raw on sky sports. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Fucking so nerds. Kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 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 that plan kind of backfired on us. So yeah, because I think we left on a Wednesday or something. The strippers so, so, like so, hang out and do drugs with us. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah, God. we uh we didn't get to attend the orgy because we wanted to watch oh, Raw shit. on, on oh, Canadian fuck. television. <laughs> well, as wrestling fans. <laughs> Oh, there's the uh, crawl space from the beginning of the movie with the spiders. Oh, shit. See, I knew the crawl space would come into play because why would they show a random crawl they space? Always, they always <laughs> show you stuff so they can call back to it later. The kid, I feel like I get annoyed with children a lot of times in movies and media and in real life um but the kid in this is actually pretty good oh yeah because he doesn't seem like uh uh they dumb. usually make them stupid yeah yeah Yeah, it also seems to like whenever there's a uh, crawl space under houses, you always see like you know like there's like a dead squirrel in there. There's like there's always a carcass of something in a crawl space. A possum or something. Yeah. yeah. And she just going. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh. You know, John Wayne Gacy. You know, had all those. <laughs> oh yeah. Under- Crawl space. Yeah, he was busy. <laughs> he was. kept busy that one. <laughs> they sure did. A hard working man, that John Wayne Gacy. Oh fuck. No, see, this is dumb. There would not be a tarantula or whatever yeah, the fuck like, that is. 
This is like in Indiana or some shit. Like, no. I don't know. I think it might be California. Yeah, that's not like that's like a, a not an or, a normal. Yeah, that's not spider a normal you see spider out in the thing. wild. Yeah, absolutely not. Oh jeez. Oh god. All right, he's got a lighter. What's going on? What's he lighting up? Firework? A dynamite stick? Oh, what, what the, the fuck? fuck is that? What the fuck is oh, that? Oh, yeah, firework. Oh. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God, dude's got like a random missile. <laughs> yeah, like how'd that kid get that missile? Ooh. Oh. Oh, that'll stop her, buddy. Yeah. Oh, all right. He just has a oh, he's, a, a drill on hand. He's, he's <laughs> just gonna. Uh, okay. Even then, she could easily rip that thing off. Oh, here we go. All right, let's do this. Okay, that'll work. Nice. Oh, fuck. Yes. <laughs> Once again, I'm I'm very impressed up. with the kills in this movie. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, the setup was clunky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, so I'm not sure where the drill came from. Like, I think he yeah, had it up his what, ass. <laughs> yeah. And also, the, the firework was not very close to the spray he was using. So Yeah know how it would explode there but that was fun have you ever been to wrestlemania yeah i went to the one uh at medlife the uh 35? rock yeah rock and cena I'm oh not sure no was the, not 35. yeah yeah forget uh rock and again, cena yeah, I'm bad with the numbering, but uh, yeah, that was my yeah my one and only one I went to. As far as WrestleMania is, like I liked it. it. Was cold. Uh, yeah. I had the uh, had the jacket on, and uh, mm -hmm. we were kind of up there, so uh, I went up and yeah. down those stairs a few times, so my legs were dead. Yeah. But uh, it was a good time. <laughs> uh, I probably uh, I probably never go again. I, I was able to cross it off the bucket list attending WrestleMania. <laughs> I, I like, <laughs> yeah, I like I like watching it at home, uh, especially okay. now that they're two days long. Two nights, so like now, yeah, yeah, yeah two nights. So like now, like oh my, that's like two tickets, and uh, you know, well, that really four because it bring the wife with me. I'm like, so that, mm -hmm. that's an expensive day. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like Quite. that one we were able to drive to. It was nearby, and mm -hmm. it was good, so I can cross that off. But uh, never so, again, uh, you said. No, it, it was any fun, other though. shows. Oh, yeah, I've been to a lot. We used to go to every wrestling show that was in like a twenty mile radius back in the mm -hmm. back in the nineties. So, which was a uh, lot back then. Yeah, from yeah, from, we've seen uh, ECW whenever it came around. Uh, nice. We saw them at uh, Dog Track once in Rever uh, Revere, Mass. I think it was. Yeah. And, uh, uh -huh. It was Sabu and Taz wrestling that one. And mm -hmm. I remember uh, they were in the audience and like everyone's going nuts, whatever. And then like somebody threw a chair and then it just like <laughs> clonked me on the, on the head. So I'm no! like, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, nice. I got a story to tell. <laughs> like, Oh my like, God. That's so. awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. We, I, I do. I do an ECW podcast with JT. Um, oh, so nice. yeah, we've been, yeah, we've gone through the entire history of it. We're up to 1999 right now i wish i still had all my ecw vhs tapes though because i oh. can't stand watching it on, on the network with with the uh dubbed in music i the think it just takes yeah, a, a yeah it takes yeah. away a lot of, of the show like we got used to it over the fucking amount of years we've been doing that show we have like 125 episodes so we kind of just got used to it it's kind of yeah. fun 
Like, <laughs> we're used to the, to us, the dubs are normal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been watching a lot of the, uh, the Mid-South wrestling on there. So, and, like, nice. I didn't grow up with Mid-South, but, um, uh, Mm -hmm. the entire time I thought the opening music they use was just what it was. Then like I watched an mm -hmm. uh, episode on YouTube and it was different. I'm like, Oh shit, this is a real song. So exactly, no, I, yeah. I, I had no clue. It's but so it's funny like, to me. Like, oh, go on. like all, all, <laughs> I never knew like, cause I've, I've been watching wrestling like since what, like 2018, 17 ish. Um, it just never, fails to amaze me how much the music means to wrestling fans like, yeah for me like i love music too but for me it's not as inherent as it is i think who as it is for people who have been watching for so long and they're just so into wrestling music and that always pops me and like we just met and you're just like automatically yeah. number one thing you say about ECW is the music. And that's crazy yeah. to me. You could say anything about ECW, but the music is just so just so ingrained in what people love about it. Yeah, because like it's weird, you no know, Tommy Dreamer comes out the man in the box and yeah, you know, no. you're watching the network that's missing and like yeah. Sandman without Metallica. I'm like, yeah, like it just of it was part of the whole vibe of it. Mm -hmm. Uh but uh, I, I don't know. At, at the same time, too, though, uh, I noticed like a lot of that ECW stuff, to me anyway, it doesn't really hold up nowadays. Like it's kind of stuff I thought was like, oh, my God, this I think maybe because it's just been overdone now. And when we were watching it for the first time, it was so like innovative. Mm -hmm. But now it's just been like done to death. You know, like back then you saw like a table, you know, someone to do a table spot. It was insane because that just wasn't going on. Now it's like every mm -hmm. week someone's going through a table. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like a. We try to put it through like that sort of lens when we're going yeah. through ECW and try to put ourselves back in that time and and look at it from that point of view as opposed to like a retrospective where you look back and kind of compare. We try to be in the moment. Yeah. You know? And, and put context and stuff. What I've learned so much about ECW in particular throughout the journey is how much the logistics play a part in the final product. Because, like, we're watching Hardcore TV, we're watching TNN now, and all the pay-per-views. And to me, it, it's just crazy the whole logistics of booking wrestling at all. And how your cards are set up and how you have to have the production and all of it is just so ingrained where the final product totally depends on who you can have that night. <laughs> if they didn't yeah. skip off to WCW <laughs> or they weren't hurt and you have to book around that shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and especially around the, uh, the TNN era with the, you know, that yeah. during the Monday Night Wars, there was, everyone was coming and going and like Mike Awesome yes. left, you know, like, yeah. uh, and yeah, he saw the title right when he signed. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we, we're right when he just won the title from TAS. Uh -huh. So that's what we just saw. And, um, he came from out of nowhere and did that. <laughs> there was no build to that. It was just TAS got signed somewhere else and he fucking left and dropped the title yeah. to Mike Awesome. So. I remember a uh, weird story. Uh, I don't know why I just thought of this, but like Mike Awesome, uh, I remember uh, when he wrestled Masato Tanaka on one of the uh, ECW episodes on TNN, I believe it was. I remember it was Christmas Eve, and I'm like, you know, I'm a last minute kind of guy. So, like, uh, I'm still wrapping gifts on Christmas Eve, only for them to be like torn to shreds like three seconds later. You know, I still hadn't done it yet. <laughs> and, I, and I had that on in the background. And it was like it was like the it was the best fucking match, and I'm like, oh my god! It's like I was like, you know, in my head, like I was like thought of Christmas whenever I thought of that match, and so like for the oh, next nice. few years, I yeah, so like next few years I put that episode out, you know, VCW on TNN as you know as part of my Christmas viewing, but uh, oh, I love you know, that. That's a great yeah, story. Yeah, That's like cute. uh, but like that, you know that VHS went again with moving and all yeah. that is somewhere, but uh. 
But uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that again this Christmas. I'll, I'll, I'll throw on that ECW and TNN Christmas yeah. episode. Tanaka and Awesome are just incredible together. Like every yeah. match I see of theirs, it just hits it's so good. Yeah, I was happy they had him go at it one last time on uh, on the uh, reunion show. It was mm -hmm. cool that they uh, yeah got to do that. Especially since stand. WWE, uh, yeah, yeah, when they stand it, uh, especially since they didn't do uh, Mike Awesome any favors when they signed him, I thought they could have done well, so yeah. much more with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Mike Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not it's alive, right? Uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty sure he is. Yeah, I think he's still wrestling, actually. Oh, he was he at least. Is. I've probably three. seen him. Yeah. Now, do you watch so uh, AEW as well, or? No, no. I look. I gave him a shot. I um, I paid for some pay per views, which pissed me off. I don't like paying to watch wrestling. That's stupid to me now. Um, like on TV. Um, I liked the Cracker Barrel match way in the beginning. Of AEW. Um, I love Tony Storm. I think she kills it oh, yeah. every time she's on screen. And she's the best thing that has ever happened in AEW, in my opinion. But I, the weekly, monthly product is not for me quite, quite anymore. Yeah, I gave them I want to say maybe a year. And then, uh, yeah, it was a good year. I was watching stuff. Yeah, that was the and that, that was the only reason why we still held on to cable. And then like then the shows weren't that great. And I'm like, you know what? We're paying all this money, frankly, just to watch AEW. And it's not yeah, it's not working. And so I'm like, you know mm -hmm. what? So I just follow kind of follow it online and I see you know, again Tony Storm, I'll watch whatever pops up that she does. Yes. She's a usually gold. amazing Instagram follow. I love her. Love her clips. She's great. But now that they're on uh they're going to be on Max now. I'll probably check them out more often. Like, I'll try to pop in there. Uh, I'm curious what they'll do on that platform. Um, if anything I'll different. Probably, I'll probably never watch them live. I, I need to be able to fast forward. No. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, did you see uh, what Tony Storm said about uh, Stan Hansen? <laughs> Stan Hansen, I mean. No, what? Uh, she said, like, oh, Stan Hansen gave me uh, a lariat back in the day, but he didn't use his, he didn't use either one of his arms. <laughs> She's a trip. She is. Yeah. I, I really like her gimmick. This, this boy's going through it tonight. We're, like, barely paying attention to the movie, but that happens sometimes on the show. Do you think this kid has ever heard of Stan Hansen? Probably Absolutely not. not. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Do your kids like wrestling? Uh, my daughter liked AEW when it first came on. She uh, loved Sammy Guevara. She uh, mm -hmm. actually met him uh, at a Comic-Con cool. we went to. Mm -hmm. And it was funny that uh, the day she met him, uh, it was him, Darby Allen, and uh, the one Sammy married. I forget her name now. Uh, the blonde oh, wrestler. Oh, Tay Mello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taya? She was there. Taya? Yeah. So, yeah, we met all of them. But that day, earlier that morning, I was like 4 or 5 a.m., I was actually in the ambulance. <laughs> I went like to the I rushed to the hospital. I had like pain in my side i almost like fainted it was like excruciating oh, no. uh found out later it was a kidney stone like the next day but oh, then i started no. feeling better and then i'm like they're like oh you i'm like I'm, okay i'm feeling a little bit better i'm like i'm just gonna go home they're like oh are you sure i'm like in my head i don't want to say like oh i promised my daughter i <laughs> i take her to meet sammy guevara and so oh uh, my gosh <laughs> so uh, yeah we oh, left whatever gosh. went down to uh to the convention and then she got to meet him like gave him a big hug and we got the photos and everything. And then, like, I told Sammy, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, dude, I was actually in an ambulance early this morning. And he's like, oh, shit. And you came here? I'm like, he's like, are you, are you okay? I'm like, I think so. 
I'm like, I thought it was, I thought it was like my appendix burst. I had no idea what it was. Oh my but then God. I woke up the next day in pain, and then same oh. thing. And they're like, oh yeah, you got a big kidney stone. So, uh, but uh, yeah, we, dad we, of we the year right there. Yeah. That's you. I mean, that is crazy. I had yeah, she was obsessed with them, and then uh, I remember uh, uh. We all took a photo together. And he goes, "Oh, we should do one. We're flipping off, flipping off the camera." So like, uh, she wouldn't do it. She's like, "He goes, I'm like, yeah, you she can do it." And like, she she would not do it. And like, Sam is like, "Oh, yeah, your, your dad said it's okay," and she still wouldn't. But now she's <laughs> now she flips the bird like it's you know, <laughs> that's hilarious. Like it's like it's going out of style, but I'm I. I'm not really big on flipping birds either. No. I don't know. I don't, it's fine. Like, but yeah. it's just not something I do. Like maybe I should incorporate that into my personality more yeah. in my photos. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. You mentioned that. Uh, I used to do, flip the bird off in photos and then like, I'm like, Oh, that's kind of like lame. So I, I switched yeah. over to like doing the thumbs up. And then, like, uh, people started noticing I do the thumbs up a lot. So then I mix it with the thumbs up or the shaka. <laughs> so then, like, uh, okay, that's I got my, good. yeah. So I got then I got my balls busted for that. So I'm like, do I bring back the middle finger? What do I do? Like, because like, yeah, you know, you take the photo, there's sign. only uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I, I know. Uh, I started doing the down low peace sign. You know, when the, uh, the oh, okay, I got you. So, yeah, I started doing that, but I'm like, that's out of my age limit. I think I don't think it yep, works for yep. me. Yeah, you're too old for that. Young, sorry. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so maybe the yeah, because like, you need to do something with your hands and photos. Like I don't. I never know what to do ever. <laughs> like I'm like uh, I corpse yeah. corpse in them. Like, I'll, do, feet, I'll do I'll do hands so on funny. hips from now on. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 yeah. automatically hands on hips. I have this hilarious photo from we got some families family photos taken on the beach, and I didn't know what to do with my legs because you're standing in the sand. It's a little awkward trying to pose, and so I had one leg kind of in front of the other, and in the photo I look one legged. Oh no! You cannot. My leg is like right behind my oh, other no. leg. You're just, like you're just you just bal balancing I'm just in, the sand. in the sand with one leg, and that photo is blown up on on my wall. It's hilarious. That's fine. Like, my one legged <laughs> photo. Gotta love perspective. <laughs> yeah, it was great. I was, the the photographer didn't say shit. Like <laughs> you should have caught that lady. Come on. But it ended up being hilarious, so it was fine. That's funny. We are um, in full on kill the cheerleader mode. I, I thought this bitch got shot in the chest. Didn't she not? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I didn't expect to see a hand job in this movie. Yeah, there's a very disinterested hand job happening. Uh, How was Bella still alive? We missed that. Imagine fighting a 12 year old. <laughs> like trying to kill them. I would love to fight a 12 year old. No, I would. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Nice. She got her fucking oh. head blown off. That was so graphic. Oh, my cat wants to get out of this room. Let me uh, let her out. Hi, baby. I also said don't come in here, but okay. Oh, I'm, I'm going to call your cat over. <laughs> <laughs> I let her out. Her name is uh, Dusty Rose, and I'm a name for that for Dusty Roads. Nice. Yeah. I have a uh, one cat named Willow. She's a calico, and I have a black hat named Snowflake. So love that. Yeah. Willow for the movie, or just for other reasons? I'm I'm not sure. My wife named her, so I'm not sure where she got that name from. But I named the black hat Snowflake, mm -hmm. just to confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
it took him to the vet once and he's like snowflake you're being ironic right i'm like <laughs> <laughs> i'm a funny guy <laughs> This kid's cutting a promo on his babysitter. Yeah. There's like 15 minutes left of this movie. I swear I've seen it before, but I forget what happens. I kind of think I remember. We'll see. Yeah, I noticed they made a part two as well. I did. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the sequel. I don't think she's in it. Oh, really? I wonder if there's any hand jobs in part two. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's some more passionate ones. That one was very sad. It's like I can't decide if she's trying to kill him or keep him alive. Yeah. Because she was worried about his blood sugar earlier. Yeah. And she, she killed the girl who was trying to kill him. Oh, he who's really who's your favorite diabetic? Do you have one? My son is diabetic. So. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Top one diabetic since he's three years old. I'm gonna go he with uh, Brett Michaels from Poison. He's my favorite. Oh, diabetic. nice. Good one. Good choice. Yeah, I could never be diabetic. I like snacks too much. It's tough, man. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, especially uh, a fifteen-year-old boy who is a bottomless pit and literally just eats and eat and eat everything. And yeah, mine like was your the same way. Cake, yeah. You know? Um. Oh, geez. A little. It's a struggle back. for sure. Cause like, how do you teach them to like be responsible with their blood sugar? But they're ravenous. Yeah. It's not really their fault, but like, you can't just feed them whatever they want. Sorry, right, it seems like she's trying to recruit him. I think yeah, it's weird. Mm -hmm. It's like oh. it's like um, unexpectedly emotional between them, really. So like good acting from these young people. Yeah, and where do the parents go? It seems like they uh, they've been out this for girl a while. Been watching right? them, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. He got in the car. Holy shit. <laughs> you see that eight year old girl that drove herself to Target? I, I know. That's that that insane. That's what, it, that's what this reminds me of. Yeah, she made it pretty far, too. They <laughs> so crazy. My kid's 15. He would never. He ain't never getting behind the wheel of a car. Like, <laughs> how did this eight year old do it? Holy shit! Oh. Oh, fucking hell. I don't think he had a seatbelt on. <laughs> and the car yes. crashes into the house. Yeah, see, I wasn't expecting none of this. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah, I totally forgot about all of this. What movie am I thinking of? Maybe, I don't know, it's pretty near the end. I 
Now, uh, for your ECW podcast, are you guys going to do the WWE version of ECW? Or are you going to stop at TNN? I believe we're going to stop. I don't. I don't believe we'll be doing that. Good call. Uh, yeah. <laughs> those, those are some rough shows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess the. I guess it depends. I, I honestly don't think we will end up doing that, but we're. We just got into the TNN era, so it's kind of winding down. It takes a long time to podcast through all of this, so it's not going to end anytime soon. But it feels like it's ending, you know, just because of the product. And like, yeah. so it gets a little sad because I've been doing that one for a long time. And then the thought of having watched all of ECW is like mind blowing to me. Yeah, right. Now, did you start at Eastern Championship or when they became extreme? It was, we started right around 94. So right. right around when Shane um, threw down the title, did that whole thing. And they can all kiss my <laughs> Classic. Uh, I ended up loving Shane Douglas too. He won me over. Have you ever checked out his podcast? He's got a good podcast, Shane Douglas. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, he, I met he gets him, very. Uh, uh, in oh, Dallas. oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I've always wanted to meet the franchise. Him and Francine, we met together, and that was really nice. fun. Yeah, Shane's very underrated in promos. He's one of my one Agreed. of my favorite. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, he never gets brought up in the conversation. You always hear, oh, Flair or whoever. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like no, no one ever brings up Shane, but like he was like. He can go on for I mean, days. <laughs> he he can talk, just talk, talk. Yeah. He's full of shit, like 80% yeah. of the time. He is not an adult. He is 12 years old. <laughs> mm. I drove a stolen car through you. That's when you know it's real. Through the fucking house. (laughs) This kid will be fucked up for life, right? After this, like, you murdered the babysitter you had a crush on your whole life, and, or for a while, I don't know, probably his whole life. Like, I feel like all this is very traumatic. Yeah, see, I wonder if he's in part two or. I'll look that up. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. The babysitter. Killer Queen? I want to say I've seen this one. Oh, yeah, because it's in McGee. Same kid. Oh, what are the? It's like Home Alone. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> uh, Jenna Ortega's in it as well. Who oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. So once again, he gets he'll probably he gets left with a evil babysitter. Those are incredible mm-hmm. odds. <laughs> <laughs> it's more it, it's it's an interesting like it's not funny like they're like I don't feel like we laughed that much but like and it's not really scary it, oh. it has great kills so it's like kind of in a weird little niche yeah or a horror movie it was a good time though yeah like I, I feel like it looks great um the acting was good um like it's well shot great kills fun story like I don't know it, it's a great it's a great watch we did it yeah we did it that's awesome 
I like that one. Cool. That was a All good right, time. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, do you do any other podcasting? I meant to ask you during that. Uh, no, this is actually the, only the second podcast I've been on. Really? My friend, uh, my friend, comedian Aaron Lidecker had me on his once. Uh, that was uh, maybe a, two years ago, though. So, you know, I'm not How really. You uh, How you good. feel about it? Good. I, I was a little okay. nervous going into it. You know, like, you know, I'm, I'm very uh, nervous around strangers. So, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was good though. It was a good time. Okay, good. I I enjoyed it. I think you know you're invited on the show when whenever we bring it back next year, if you want. Um, if you ever want to do wrestling stuff, we have tons. <laughs> we have tons of shows to choose from. Any fucking time period you can think of. Um, honestly, so cool. Just reach yeah. out. You know, if you ever want to Sounds do good. anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm on the uh, I'm on the group thing, so uh, I'll you're keep my eyes thing. out. Yeah. Okay, good. Cool. Hopefully we hear from you. Um, as for me, I'm on North South Connection uh, every Wednesday mostly when I have shows. I will have shows every Wednesday this month uh, as we continue Freak Out Drive-In. Um, so far we've done um, Heather's this year and then we did Weekend at Bernie's. And uh, I did um, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which was an amazing movie. <laughs> That uh, everybody that, should. That's watch. on my to watch list. Yeah, do it. Do it. It's fucking insane. Uh, just watch the freak out drive-in that we do. There you go. It. And uh, I'll have it on the background as I'm watching. Perfect. That's what we want. That's what we want. And uh, then of course we have um the extreme three way dance, the ECW podcast, and um, you know what? I might as well just list them all. I'm on Linking Up Luchas, and that is on the Backbone Wrestling Network. Um, that is going through Lucha Underground, and we're in season two of that show, and I love that show. And I have a new show. It is uh, No So Takeover, I think is what we ended up calling it, and we're going to watch all the NXT takeovers. Oh, uh, and that is with J. Yeah, is we recorded a couple episodes already. That's with JT and Aaron. Um, so check that one out. That's a brand new podcast. And um, Exposition is one of mine. It is uh, X-Men all multimedia podcast where we talk about the OG animated series and all of the films and then also X-Men 97. And Talking Docs in which uh, we review documentaries. So that is my list of shows. Uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you, Kevin, for being on. Can I plug um, my YouTube channel that I never update? Of course. It's uh, it's called it's uh, YouTube. It's called Live Laugh Love. There's two Live Laugh Loves on there. I'm the one with the NWO logo, the three L's. Okay, that's mine. The other one has like a man's face. But uh, yeah, I I I only I've only been updating it in October. So I've been uh I've been doing Halloween episodes, and that's it primarily. But one day I'll I'll go be back on a regular schedule, but probably not. We'll see. I have a feeling you'll you're gonna be folded into the no so uh, universe, um, so just get ready for that. Um, Beautiful. And welcome. I am here for it. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's our show. Um, definitely watch the Babysitter on Netflix. And um, thank you, Kevin, and thank you for listening and watching. We'll see you next time. See ya. Wow.